The last chapter is called Who Knew? Pretty soon the bell rang for recess. I hurried over to my friend Grace because maybe she could help me find my secret admirer. Both of us skipped outside to the playground and all of a sudden I stopped real fast because I accidentally left my beautiful Valentine on the table and I didn't want anyone to take that lovely thing. Wait, Grace, wait right here. I'll be back in a jiffy, I said. After that, I ran my fastest back to room nine. And guess what? I spied that meanie Jim at my table and he was picking up my beautiful Valentine. Hey, what do you think you're doing, mister? I yelled real loud. Then I zoomed to my table zippity quick and I yanked that card right out of his mitt. After that, I started running to the door, but meanie Jim springed in front of me and he held up his hand. Stop, he yelled. Don't take that Valentine outside. If you take it outside, you'll get it dirty. I made my squinty eyes at that boy. I will not get it dirty, I said back. And anyway, that is none of your beeswax, Jim. Jim stamped his foot. Yes, it is my beeswax, Looney B. Jones, he yelled. That card costed me a whole month's allowance, and I don't want you to get dirt on it. As soon as he said it, he quick put his hands over his mouth. But I already heard his words. <gasps> I did a gasp. You, Jim? You are the one who bought this card? I asked. Why? How come? Is this some kind of sick, meanie boy joke? Jim started sputtering a real lot. Yes, I mean, no, I mean, I didn't buy that card. It just looks like it costed a lot of money, that's all. And whoever bought it spent his whole allowance, I bet. I kept on staring at that boy, because something smelled like fish here, that's why. But if you're the one who gave me that valentine, if you're not the one who gave me that valentine, then how come you're acting so funny, Jim? I asked. And how come your words are sputtery and nervous? And how come your face is reddish and blotchish? Just then, Jim clunked himself in the head. Darn it, I knew I'd ruin it. I always ruin everything. Now everyone in room nine's going to know I like you and I wanted it to stay a secret, he said. All of a sudden, my whole face felt happy. You like me, Jim? You really, really like me? Because you never acted like you like me. And so since when do you like me? That's what I would like to know. Jim's face got a silly look on it. I've always liked you, he said real quiet. I just act like I don't like you so nobody will know I like you. I looked confused at him. But if you like me, how come you always call me names, I asked. Jim shrugged his shoulders. Because you call me names, he said. <sighs> I did a big breath. Yes, Jim, I know I call you names, but that's because you started it first, I explained. No, I did not, he said. You started it first. I shook my head. No, Jim, you did, I said. No, Junie B, you did, he said back. No, you did. No, you did. No, you. All of a sudden, Jim raised his hand in the air and he waved it all around. I called on him. Jim, I said. Maybe we both started it, Junie B, he said. Maybe we both started calling each other names on the very same day. Just then, I started to smile, because that would be fair of us, I think. After that, I skipped around him in a happy circle. On account of this was a nice development, I grabbed his hand. Hey, Jim, let's go tell Mrs. that we're friends. Want to? Because she'll get a kick out of this, probably, I said. But all of a sudden, Jim plopped down on the floor and he wouldn't even budge. Okay, this doesn't actually seem like that good of a start for us, Jim, I said. He looked up at me. I know, he said, but I can't tell the teacher that I like you. I can't tell anyone. If I tell people, it will ruin everything. I wrinkled up my eyebrows. Everything like what, I said. Like all my friends will all know I like girls and that will be embarrassing, he said. Plus, room nine won't ever be the same again. I didn't understand. Why, Jim? Why won't it be the same? I asked. Because it will be dull and boring, that's why, he said. Because if you and I like each other, then I won't tease you anymore. And if I don't tease you, then you won't tease me back. And that means you won't shout silly funny stuff at me that makes the people laugh. He rocked back and forth on his feet, very bashful. You make room nine sparky. 
he said. After that, he smiled very cute, and he poked my arm with his finger, and he made a sparky sound. Zzz, zzz, he said. Zzz, zzz. I laughed very loud, and I sparked him right back. Zzz, zzz, I said. And so guess what? Then me and that silly guy started chasing each other all over room nine, and we kept poking and sparking, and it was the funnest game I ever even heard of. Only too bad for us, because... All of a sudden, we heard a noise at the door. Oh no, it was Mrs. She caught us in the room. Hey, what's going on in here, she said. You two are supposed to be on the playground. Me and Jim stopped very fast. Then Jim looked nervous at me because he was afraid I would tell his secret, I think. All of a sudden, I pointed to him kind of mad. It's his fault, Mrs., I said, because Jim poked me and made a sparky sound, and then I had to poke him back and make a sparky sound, too. Only he wouldn't let that be the end of it, and so pretty soon we were chasing and sparking and chasing and sparking. Only just now you came in the door, and so the chasing and sparking are over, apparently. And so we will just be on our way to the playground, I believe. I tapped on her. Pardon me while I get by, I said very politely. Mrs. rolled her eyes way back in her head. Honestly, you two, it's Valentine's Day, she said. Can't you get along for just one day? After that, she took us by our hands and she marched us outside. We waited for her to leave. Then he looked at me kind of shy. You did good, he said. Thank you for not telling my secret. I smiled at that boy. That's okay. Thank you for the mushy gushy Valentine, I said back. After that, I faced my eyeball at him. Wink, wink, Jim, I said, wink, wink, wink. And guess what? Jim pointed his eyeball right back at me and he winked very perfect. After that, we run off to play with our friends or else people might think we liked each other and that would ruin everything. That is how come I never ever told anybody about Jim's secret, not even my bestest friends, Lucille and Grace. Because Meanie Jim is the bestest secret admirer I ever had. And guess what else? Room 9 is still staying sparky. Z -z -z. The end. I love when she's trying to find her secret admirer. I think it's so funny. So I hope you enjoyed it and happy Valentine's Day.